Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces, standing in a corner to talk to you about corner electric fireplaces. First of all, are there electric fireplaces for corner installations? Once upon a time, we used to have a lot more cabinet fireplaces, so a cabinet that's kind of ready to assemble with a fireplace in it. Those are a lot less popular now, and so we don't really have a lot of corner options. They may still exist out there in the marketplace where you've got a little cabinet that fits into a corner and it has an electric fireplace insert in it. Here at Stylish Fireplaces, we really don't have those options unless we do something custom or we help a client do something custom. And when it comes to wall mounts, there really aren't specialized corner hanging fireplaces. So how do we deal with a corner if we want an electric fireplace? First of all, when are they a good idea? A couple of situations come to mind. If there's an existing fireplace already and it is in the corner, so it may have been wood burning or gas that came with the house and it's in a corner. The least messy way to deal with that is to keep the fireplace there and either reface it and build a new wall over it or work with the existing opening and put your fireplace insert into that existing opening. So that makes sense from a, a mess perspective and maybe a cost perspective. The other reason to do a corner fireplace, let's say there isn't one there already, but you're thinking about a new fireplace. The corner can be a great space saving option. Corners are often sort of wasted spaces and there's not a lot of furniture we can put in the corner. So having a fireplace wall that cuts across the corner could be a great space saving option. And that might be why you've decided to put a corner fireplace in. So there are some reasons why it does work from time to time. One of the things you need to think about when you're doing a corner fireplace is how do you measure for that fireplace? So if I've got a fireplace on the wall and I've just put a mock up here in a straight wall, it's pretty straightforward. I figure out how big, how much wall space I have, how big I'd like the fireplace to be, and then I go ahead and make sure that I have a wall that's deep enough for that fireplace. And it's often that can be pretty straightforward when we're just dealing with a straight wall. But let's take our little frame here and put it across the corner and see what happens. And when I put that across the corner, you can hear it. It's hitting the walls on either side. The other thing it's doing is it's making a triangle. So I've got the front of the triangle here and then the corner of the triangle back there and another corner here. So there's my three corners and I've made a triangle instead of having a straight wall now I have this triangular space I need to deal with. What happens with the triangle is there's a lot less depth as I get into the corners. There's a lot less space to work with than there is here in the middle of the triangle where I have the most depth. And that determines how we measure for a corner fireplace. So as you think about building a wall across the corner and you think about the corner angles having the least amount of depth and the center of that wall having the most depth, you need to measure for your fireplace accordingly. So if you wanna put a wide fireplace across the corner, it either needs to be a super shallow fireplace so that it can fit as close to the corners as possible, or if it's a deeper fireplace, it's going to have to be a lot less width than the overall wall width, because remembering the wide, the edges of the wall are coming close to the next wall and the corner doesn't give you a lot of depth. So remember that you're measuring a triangle. I've got one edge, two edge, and then the edge across the front, and my corners are the most compressed space of all. So I have to think about the wider the fireplace, the shallower it needs to be in order to fit that width on that wall without banging into the edges of the walls behind the triangle. So think about that. And then of course, the models that best work for corner installations are going to be, if you're looking at a linear fireplace, the shallower fires are going to be the best fit for a corner installation. So look at the four inch deep models, the extra slim models. If you're doing an insert and you're going to have more depth, it is going to have to be small enough to fit into the center of that triangular space. And so you may have to go a little smaller than you might like 
to get into the corner or you're going to have to build out further from your corner to give yourself more width across and a little more depth to work with in the center to get a wider insert. All of that is explained in our stylish blog at stylishfireplaces.ca.